Hi YouTube, my name's Ryan, and this channel is called Ryan's Restart. And if you hazarded a guess, I am trying to restart my life. I am trying to become not morbidly obese. I have been morbidly obese nearly my whole life, ever since I was a teenager at least. Um, it, it's been rough. I've had good times, I've had bad times, uh, and most of my bad times were kind of perpetuated by myself. Uh, with my own negative thinking and my own bad behavior. But I'm getting better now. I've got a long way to go. Mental health is not something you can just switch on and off. You can't just turn depression off, depression off like it's a light switch. But what you can do is you can try to better your position in life and you can try to do little things that increase your overall happiness. And one of my things that I'm doing this time around is I'm being a lot more public with my struggle and that's kind of where this channel is coming from and what I want to do with YouTube is make weekly vlogs and this is the first one uh, chronicling my weight loss journey and uh, my heaviest weight let's talk about my heaviest weight uh, a few years ago I've, I've I have a scale that weighs up to 440 pounds it's meant for the morbidly obese to to check their weight, right? Um, it maxes out at 440 pounds. Uh, it continued to take readings of me until I got to a reading of 450 flat, 450.0. Anything above that, it would give me an error message, and I have errored out that scale. So I know I have been on the plus side of 450 at my heaviest. This current weight loss bout, because if you're my size, you know you haven't tried it just once or zero times. You've probably tried to lose weight multiple times. It's it's a struggle. It's a real struggle. And, and when you're morbidly obese, it's a struggle that people that have not gotten this big just can't quite understand. But that's okay. That's why they have questions. That's why people are curious. And... I invite all curiosity. Please ask me anything you want in the comments. I will do my best to answer your comments. And I can't wait to let this continue. But this time around, at the end of January, I weighed 430 pounds. And uh, that's when I decided enough was enough. It's time to do this for real. And so I methodically thought about and planned a eating regimen and a light exercise regimen that is sustainable for me. I'm not trying to cut my calories down to the VLCD threshold of like 700. Yes, that will help me lose weight incredibly fast. But it's not very healthy. And it's not sustainable. So... 430 pounds at the end of January. Today is February 21st, and I weighed at 404. So I've lost 26 pounds in a little over three weeks, which is a, bad, a little over seven pounds a week, which seems really fast, but when you're really big at the very beginning, it does kind of fall off because when your diet used to be high in sodium, you retain a lot of water. When you stop eating the sodium, flush that out. So I've lost a lot of weight. I don't know how much of it's body fat, but it doesn't matter. I don't care about the number on the scale. It's just a way to measure progress. And uh, I just wanted to kind of show you guys my before, considering this is my first vlog. I'll have pictures, and when I get better at editing, you'll see cool stuff in my videos, maybe. Um, I have pictures of me when I was bigger than I am now, but I can't see the difference. Maybe you can. It all kind of looks the same to me, and that's kind of just the psychological effect of being overweight your whole life. So, being my first video, I wanted to show you guys what my body looks like right now. So, uh, spoiler warning, tits are coming. I've had these man boobs since I was in school. So I developed my boobs kind of when the girls did. Haha. -ha. I know, self-deprecating humor is something I've coped with. It's been a coping mechanism my whole life. It's something I've struggled with. Uh, in recent years, it's something that I've kind of gotten over the self-deprecation part of it. It's not even that it's deprecating to me anymore. That is 
it's not if that doesn't bother me it bothers more people than myself usually like you shouldn't make jokes about that and i go well uh making jokes is how i cope let me let me do my thing it's it's okay so here's here's my body i got these fun little arm flabby things that hang down uh, uh, look how buff i am <laughs> obese to beast you're the man um so this is me now if i stand up here's here's like a belly shot uh and one of the things i wanted to talk about with my exercise i know i'm totally out of frame here let me so sorry charizard Hey, leave Pikachu alone. Um, big body. I have a gut. I can pick the thing up. I can set it on the counter and take like 60 pounds off the scale, which is kind of funny. I could just kind of be like, nope, I don't weigh that much. But it's something I've dealt with all my life. So here I am. Here's my back. I got this going on. Uh, so that's kind of what I look like right now. What I'm having an issue with is the exercise portion of what I want to do. So, um, about five or six years ago, I can't remember now, uh, I got an umbilical hernia. It started, it has progressed, and so when it comes to exercising, I can't be lifting heavy weights. I don't want to exacerbate the hernia more because I do want it to still be repairable when I lose the weight. The doctors told me when I finally went in because I, I self-diagnosed because I have a brain and the internet and I was able to kind of figure it out and most people are like, ooh, self-diagnosis. Uh, most of the time you can. <laughs> it's not that hard if, if, if you could think. But I have an umbilical hernia, but the doctors told me that they can't repair it. They can't repair it because it isn't causing me major discomfort. It isn't causing me loss, potential loss of life. They did tell me that if I felt like a really, really sharp stabbing pain that like I thought I was going to die, it probably meant I was because it's called a strangulated hernia and that can be fatal. And then they would go in to try to repair it to save my life. But since I'm, it's not killing me, they can't do it because the pressures in the abdominal cavity of someone my size would just tear the sutures and start a new hernia in a different spot where they tried to sew the mesh in to stop to heal the hernia in the first place so i've had to live with it it's kind of hampered my exercise i do really, i used to love lifting weights when i was a kid when i was in school and even after school but now i'm afraid to because i don't want to injure my hernia more here check it out so i used to have a legitimate belly button but now i got this little thing kind of poking out right here it's not it, it's you can't really tell i have much of a hernia unless you look at my belly button because i'm so big if i was smaller with the same hernia i would have a bulge in my belly where my hernia is so it doesn't bother me very often sometimes it makes me mildly nauseous but most of the time, my hernia doesn't bother me at all. You can't really see it because of my size, so it's never been, it's kind of been a non issue. But at 404, 5 foot 10, my current BMI is 58. The cutoff line, like obesity, is 30. Morbid obesity is 35. 40, 45, 50, 55, 58. And so I'm, I'm way out there, and I got a long ways to go. But I've come a long ways, mentally and physically, and habitually. I've changed a lot of the things that I used to do into better things that I now do. And these videos are going to be a way for me to try to stay on top of that. And a couple other things I wanted to talk about is where they could fix my hernia, which is at a BMI of 35 and less. So I have to get down to 244 pounds before they even consider fixing my hernia just for the sake of fixing it. So I still have a long way to go if I want to fix a problem and go through the healing process so I could then actually lift weights. And man, look at that. I don't, I never take my shirt off. Look, 
I mean, it's not like I'm hella tan, but whoo, farmer tan. Um, so one of the things I'm doing to lose weight right now is I'm actually tracking my calories. For the first time in my life, I am religiously tracking everything I put into my body. And it's been sort of life-changing. And it's uh, it's actually gotten quite addicting seeing what I'm putting in my body, how much, and what time of the day, and all of that. It's actually been a fun journey, learning to track my calories, my macros, my everything. And when you take my height and weight and age my total daily energy expenditure formula for calories burned in a day just to live is about 4,400 according to the calculators I found on the internet. And the internet never lies, right? So I downloaded my fitness pal and that's where I'm tracking my calories on. And according to them, if I want to lose two pounds a week is what I told them because right now it's not really unhealthy to lose two pounds a week and I've kind of been losing more than that. Uh, I'm it's leveled off this last week and it's been just slowly going down, which is perfect, right where I want it. I want it to be slow, steady, sustainable. I want it, I don't want to crash diet. I want to change my lifestyle. And it's been going great so far. My fitness pal says 2,900 and change calories a day maximum. And I don't want to grossly undereat, so my goal range, according to myself, using my fitness pal as a tool, is I want to be at least 2,000 and up, but below the 2,900. I want to stay in that window so I don't crash diet and, you know, develop unhealthy eating habits. I don't want to develop an eating disorder. I don't want to be the anorexic obese. Um, I want to sustainably lose weight. I want to do it forever. I want to be fit. Um, and doing all this and this self-discovery has made me the happiest I've been in a very long time. And I am a lot more comfortable with myself now because obviously I'm talking to you on the internet and I usually don't talk to anybody. Oh my God, I'm really shy. Kind of. Um, and so I'm a lot happy now and I want to thank you guys for tuning in to my first vlog. Next week, I'll probably show you, like, how I prep my meals or something else. Anybody have any ideas? Go ahead and leave it in the comments. And thank you very much for tuning in to my restart. And I hope that you guys can become inspired by my journey. Thank you.